Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're doing the extended European outlook for today's second video. So as was on Tuesday, we've got your 30 day slash 42 day uh, look ahead for Europe. And I should get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first video sales are 6 day UK weather forecast. There's a Taylor 14 day with all of the regular features on the way later on today as well. Please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much for doing that. For guys, welcome to everyone. <coughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much to ECMWF.int for supplying the charts and the data as well, by the way. Thank you so much, EC. Right, let's start off with week one. Mean sea level pressure anomaly for uh, Europe. We take us from the 12th through to the 19th of August. Lots of low pressure in the North Atlantic. Pushing into northern and west Europe. There's a ridge down towards the southwest of Europe and over towards the Black Sea as well. But otherwise, it looks generally quite unsettled through much of Europe. 500 millibar height at all. It's looking like that for this week. So, uh, low pressure is away to the northwest of Europe, adjusting to the far north of the UK and Ireland. And then a ridge here from the Azores. Very much of Western and also Central Europe, a trough over in the Far East and Northeast. So, temperature anomalies uh, this week are looking like that. Generally above average in most places, the core of the warmth is through the central and eastern parts of uh, Europe, anywhere from about uh, Germany right way through towards the uh, Black Sea. See so temperatures generally around 3 to 6 degrees above average, one or two places, 6 to 10 degrees above normal. Above average, so very, very hot for you there. Also, very warm up into Scandinavia as well, with above average temperature anomalies um, through there. And down to Spain and Portugal, large portions above average. It is a bit cooler across the far north of Spain and southern France, and probably down to further storms, I would have thought. For Ireland and the UK, the hottest temperature in the southeast corner and tends to be a little bit cooler further north. And then we come into extreme northeast of Europe and really up to about to the east of the Baltic Sea states, actually, um, where we see uh, below average temperatures, particularly into western, northwestern parts of Russia, really quite chilly there, some places 6 to 10 degrees below normal. And as far as precipitation is concerned, many areas are quite dry, especially in the north and in the north east. So Scandinavia uh, looking reasonably dry and into the Baltic Sea states, northwest Russia as well. But we do see above average rainfall through uh, parts of Norway, particularly northern parts of Norway. We've also got southern France and uh, northern Spain, but it's an average, but it's not too bad. Further storm potentially through the central part of the Med as well, somewhat unusually for uh, the middle of August. So, uh, Balearic Islands, uh, Mallorca, and Norway, Bifa, and also Corsica, Sardinia coming out. Some above average rainfall through there. Not wet everywhere, though, by any means. We've got uh, large portions of Western Spain, Portugal, dry over normal. We see dry over normal conditions into Ireland, the UK, and uh, western parts of France as well. Uh, as I say, dry over in the northeastern corner, again, through the Baltic Sea states, Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania, and the many of these eastern portions of Europe and down into the southeast corner of the Mediterranean, largely drier than average there too. Okay, well, week two will be the 19th to 26th of August, looking quite unsettled across uh, many northern and western parts of Europe anyway, with low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. What are the 500 millibar heights doing? So uh, they're showing low pressure in the North Atlantic around Iceland, Greenland, and in towards the UK and uh, parts of Scandinavia, Nordic regions as well. We have got the Azores high bridging through Spain, Portugal, though, into Central and then uh, some eastern parts of Europe, so not unsettled everywhere. Temperature anomalies look like that, so cooler than average through uh, Sweden, Norway, and into Scotland and Ireland, potentially, although England and Wales still above average. And then anywhere south and east of that, generally uh, above average temperatures all the way from France, Spain, Portugal, and west, right way over to the Black Sea in the east, most places with above average temperatures there. Precipitation wise, looks like that. So, uh, wetter than average conditions. Come on, highlighter. <laughs> wetter than average conditions again in the far northwest, particularly northern parts of Sweden, down into Norway, and then 
<coughs> so sorry, I went into Scotland and also into Ireland as well. Wetter than average through Italy, around the Adriatic, down towards Greece. But then a large swathe of drier than average conditions, anywhere from southern England down to France, Spain, Portugal, the Low Country, Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany, into Poland, and then north, northwards in towards uh, Denmark, southern parts of Sweden, and uh, also over Baltic Sea into Latvia, Estonia, and at Lithuania, and also driving average through Ukraine and down to the Black Sea as well. Week 3 will be the 26th of August, 2nd of September. So a ridge building in the northeastern corner of Europe. Low pressure out in the Atlantic, though, with again quite a strong uh, west sea flow potentially into the far northwest of Europe. 500 millibar heights. Look like that, so the ridge from the Azores high into many parts of Europe actually, but we do still have low pressure in the North Atlantic just affecting perhaps the extreme west and northwest of Europe. Temperature anomalies remain uh, cooler than average just to the north and west of the UK and Ireland, otherwise, generally above average temperatures. The core of the warmth now is over towards the uh, Black Sea, really, between the Balkans and the Black Sea. And precipitation, so it's weakening signals, it's the third week, but large areas actually reasonably dry, but it is a bit wetter again in the extreme north towards Norway, probably in towards Scotland and Ireland as well. But uh, large uh, portions of Europe actually coming out sort of average or drier than normal. Week four is the 2nd to the 9th of September. Bit of a change this week with high pressure building in the Atlantic. To the west of the UK and Ireland, that probably sends the jet stream up to there. 500 millibar heights shows a ridge in the Atlantic. Could be low pressure, could be dropping into Scandinavia, maybe a northwest southeast alignment to the wind flow and the jet stream. Temperature anomalies are a bit on the cool side in the extreme west and northwest, otherwise above average in most places. And precipitation wise, it's a weakening signal as ever by the fourth week, but does look a little bit drier through western parts of Europe, so Ireland, UK, perhaps parts of France, low countries of Germany, driving average conditions possible there, and down towards Spain and Portugal. It is quite a weak signal. Right, match of 38, okay, done, but let's go for weeks five and six before we go. So, week five is the 9th to 16th of September. So, that ridge in the Atlantic disappearing, lower pressure coming back into uh, northern Europe, perhaps. 500 millibar heights, again, takes away the ridge. The temperature anomaly, again, northern and western Europe, look a little bit on the cool side. Warmest temperature orange in the south and in the southeast. And um, maybe starting to go a bit more unsettled across northern Europe anyway. And then week 6, we were 16th, 23rd of September. Very weak signal by this point. Some low pressure in the Atlantic, though. 500 millibar heights again. Um, we see a ridge down across the southern and southwestern part of Europe anyway. Temperature anomaly maybe lifts up a little bit in northern and western Europe. Amputation anomalies. Very weak signal. Could be a little bit on the wet side, though. In the west and the northwest, as I say, very, very, very weak signal, as always, by the sixth week. Right, okay, that's your 30 day uh, look at. If you've enjoyed the forecast, please give like, share, and subscribe. And we'll be back a little bit later on with your 10 to 14 day app. That includes all our break features, of course. Remember, any forecast on five, seven days comes with big health one is a large pinch to start attached. That's always a caveat. With these updates, so it could look different when we look at this model again for the UK and Ireland focus video on Saturday or indeed uh, next Tuesday for the extended European outlook. As I say, we're back shortly, 10 to 14 day. Come back for that this afternoon for uh, this one. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.